Hey everybody, Arnaldo Wofferman here with my DMX video manuals. This is perhaps the most common question that I see about my DMX and the easiest to answer. And that is, is my DMX and my DMX buddy compatible with Wi-Fi fixtures? And if so, how do you make it wireless? Well, for this, you're going to need one of uh, actually three different things. First, you're going to need a Wi-Fi transmitter. You can use the original Wi-Fi. You can use a Wi-Fi battery such as this one or the Wi-Fi battery EXR, which means extended range. All right, so you're gonna need one of those. You're going to need a DMX cable. Make sure it's a real DMX cable and not some crap audio cable that you think will work as a DMX cable. And last but not least, you're gonna need another Wi-Fi. Now, you can, this can be a Wi-Fi transceiver like the one here, or you can even use a Wi-Fi fixture. Now, it's very simple as how the process goes. Whether you have my DMX or my DMX buddy, you normally connect it to your DMX cable, and this goes into your very first fixture. Well, in this case, it's going to go to the Wi-Fi battery. When you turn it on, you need to make sure that your addresses are set correctly. Now, in this case, we're going to set them uh, to channel 4. And before you even plug it in, you can go ahead and start flipping the different uh, dip switches around. And if you see that the strength is blinking at all, and your Wi-Fi transceiver is not connected to anything, then that means that there's something interrupting it. So I try to find a nice clear signal. Now I know in my house there's nothing there, so I'm going to leave it on channel 4 and we're good. And then you're going to do the same thing over here. So we're going to set this one on channel 4. Now once I turn it on, this will connect. Now right now it's not connecting because there's no DMX signal going out. So you have to make sure there's a DMX signal going out. As soon as there is, this will recognize that, hey, I'm a DMX transmitter. And this guy will be like, hey, look at that. So I must be a receiver. And all the magic works within. So you don't have to set them up or anything like that. Just make sure the, uh, they're addressed properly and they'll connect. Now, if you are using a buddy, you don't even need this DMX cable. Depending on your setup, you could just plug your buddy. Oops, there, see my antenna, I just, I snapped it. You could just plug your buddy straight into the Wi-Fi battery. Only reason I don't particularly like to do that is because if this is sitting on a table or something and it falls out, the cable is going to come along with it and it's going to interrupt my show. However, if you have this inside your coffin or your case, whatever the case may be, and you know it's not coming loose, this is a really easy way of being able to keep track. Now, if let's say you have this going to a, a uh, like you know, you have it over here, this connects to this guy. Yeah, I'll leave this one here connected for now. So you've got this one connected over here. You can still use your DMX out so you can have it hardwired. So I do this quite a bit. You know, if I have like a couple of lights behind me, I'll have this wirelessly going to one, uh, into the network, but I'll just have this going into the two lights or whatever it may, may be behind me. Uh, same thing with this over here. Obviously, you don't need to have one of these per light. You just have to have it one per signal chain. So I would go out from here into the next light, then that light into the next light, and so forth. And this applies whether you're using the Wi-Fi battery or a Wi-Fi enabled fixture. So I hope that helps out. I know that's been a lot of, uh, it's been asked quite a bit. There's some confusion about how that works, but it literally is plug and play. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, subscribe, share with your friends. Thank you so much for watching. Good night and God bless.